The, the name of this system where you have waves coming in and reflecting and, and canceling each other out and adding together in other points, we call that a standing wave. So this is a standing wave system. And you can create standing waves in lots of different ways. Going back to that example of tying a rope against the wall, maybe there's a hook there. Um, if you were to take that rope and sort of shake it up and down with your hand, you would get like a jump rope pattern. And so you've got your wave that's going this way, it hits the wall and it bounces back. And that incoming and reflecting wave are interfering with each other and they're creating sort of this pattern. Um, so this is where you have constructive interference right here. And this is where you have destructive interference at the two ends. And so if I turn this back on and you look at it carefully and you see like these little points where the uh, destructive interference occurred, those are sort of akin to these points here. And if I took my hand and, and I shook it faster in this rope example, um, basically you'd start to get a shape that looks more like this. Um, so now you have uh, basically constructive interference in two points and you have destructive interference where your hand is, where the wall is, and a new one in the middle. Um, and so if you look at these two parts of this shape, those are corresponding to two of these segments, right? So you have, um, I think I should introduce some vocabulary. So these destructive interference points, these are called nodes. So you have a node here, here, and here. And those correspond to nodes here, here, and here, right? And so this is a longitudinal wave producing nodes, and this is a transverse wave, shaking your hand up and down. Two different types of waves, but they're analogous to each other.